I'm here with a new player on Aura Fury, Anthony Paul, and we sort of met through chatting on, was it uh, Vintage Story Discord? And he found out I was on Aura Fury and decided to come on here. And if you look here, uh, this is Salem Sam, and you know about Salem in yes. the US. It was a, a place for witches. Witches, yep. Well, uh -huh. this is... Of course. This is Salem Sam, and wow. of course, this is his mouth. <laughs> so that is awesome. I didn't even know this thing opened. Yeah. I, I thought this was just chiseled uh, like that, and it was. Oh, a, you know, this is the medieval. This is the medieval expansion mod. But if you come out, let me show you something else. It's got yeah. these beautiful doors. Said she, trying to close them. Come here. You have to press on the right bit. Yeah. Actually, we need to be outside to show you this. Let's go out the back way, and I want to show you something else. The medieval expansion mod is terrific, but if you look at this bit, it's even better than you think. What's that? Oh, look at oh. <laughs> Wow, that actually works. Oh, yeah. I, I tell you what, some things work and some things don't work so well. But if you come with me, yeah. this is where I'm trying to build. And this one is going to be called Hecate or Hecate. Do you know who Hecate was? Uh, no. Hecate was the goddess of witches. So this is a build that I'm putting together here. Ah, okay, yes, I've been through here. Yeah. I was wondering what this was. Uh-huh, so this is, it, this is work in progress, but if you look at some of the walls. Yeah, yeah, I can see. Yeah. I see the skull, uh, the skull. Uh, yeah, that's, here. that's chalk cobble skull. We were gifted an amazing amount of chalk cobble skull. And then over here, you walk over the skulls of the dead to get into uh, our yeah. front door. But this <laughs> over here is part of the medieval expansion mod. And you can actually light a fire in this grate. It won't oh. cook, but it will get you warm. Oh, I see. Oh, so you just put in some firewood in there and, and yeah. you're good to go. Yeah. And oh. it, it burns slightly longer. Oh, okay. Yeah. So there's a, there's a yeah, benefit to it. There is a benefit to it. Hi, and I just thought I'd pop on and say hello. Hi, who's hello. that? Uh, funky Chicken. Oh, Funky Chicken, hello. Uh -huh. I'm recording, but you're welcome. You're welcome. Say hello to everybody who might watch this video. <laughs> oh, hi, everyone. Hi. So I've now got Funky Chicken and Anthony Paul. And then over here is Black Alice. And you asked why this area is called Pendle. In the north of England, there is a, a county called Lancashire. Like a county is like a state, but uh -huh. immensely smaller. You realize that the whole of the UK would fit into New York state. A county <laughs> is a mini state and <laughs> Lancashire is very famous for witches. And there is a hill and an area called Pendle. And one oh. of the most famous witches lived in Pendle and she was called Black Alice uh, oh, and nice. she, yeah she was I think she was either hanged or burnt for witchcraft so as Salem is to the United States Pendle is to the UK uh, gotcha. and my family come from Lancashire and oh, my grandmother was called Alice <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I, I don't know All if you've right. seen this, but isn't this fantastic? Oh, this is this is beautiful. Look I, at this. I, I, I tell I, you, these are. I saw this right away. These, the bats and the cauldron, are one of the treasures of our area, and this oh. was all chiselled by the legendary chiselder Arkin. Arkin made it. Okay, yeah. When I came in, I saw the sign mm. Arkin to the left and Pendle to the right. Yeah, Arkin's building on here. Um, but you've seen up here, this is our forge. We still have to put the back wall in. 
Um, but we've got things like iron. Uh, yeah, we, and a and a and a ton of fire pits. I was wondering what what's with all the fire pits. It's a method that uh, my friend Copy Girl, who plays here, has, and she. I just need to break this because I've got some glass in here that I want. There we go. Oh, dang it. I've broken the thing as well. <laughs> um, oh. uh, whoa, we're going to have to mend poor Alice. Oh, um, but <laughs> she has this thing where she starts things off in one um, fire pit and then she splits it all up and it starts uh. warm. So, yeah, it saves an awful lot of stuff. Yes. Now, I need to put this back with our far clay. Yeah, I'm going to move that far clay too. All right. And let's m mend the floor. Yeah, I want to move that back. So I'm going to... Do you, you realise we've got carry capacity here, do you? where we can move. Oh, yes, yes, that's right. Chests that are full. Wow. I know, it's fantastic. I might actually move that one up to there. There we go. <laughs> now, I see you've got a backpack on. So it, it, I thought I thought the carry capacity was so that you could carry a chest and put it on your back and then take it somewhere and then, and then move it. But you seem to be, you seem to already have something on your back and moving another chest at the same time. So uh, what is, what is that? What is that backpack you have? Uh, you have a is look. Is that extra inventory? I could look in it? Let me have a look. Oh, F... oh yes, yes. It's, yeah. It. Oh, yes. I mean, oh, the, this is... This, this is the... Is this, you make that out the, of leather. Is this the... Wait, but is that what you put inside of the four slots that you have where you... Um, inventory... Um, yeah. In the, in the toolbar. Yeah. The lower right corner there. Yeah, yeah. lower right corner. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, gotcha. I thought that was something else. Okay. No, no. Yeah, there's yeah, yeah. there's bottom right corner. I mean, when you first start, obviously you can use reed baskets. Do you have any reed baskets in those slots? Yeah, I've got, yeah, yeah. I've okay. Got some reed baskets. Right. Well, well, when you get further on, you make leather. Yeah, yeah. That um, I've already made leather for myself uh, in yeah. my single player instance. Yeah, and that's well, what you make the backpacks out of. And so that's what I'm looking at. Okay, the thing is, I've never looked at myself in single player, so I didn't know I was carrying something <laughs> on my back. Right, let and me press F5, and F5. then press F5 again, and oh, you can look at yourself. Ah, uh, that's cool. Okay. Yes, isn't it? And yes. that that's how YouTubers, that's how we record. Because we I press guess. F5, to stand still, we press F5 again, and then we just yeah. swing round with the mouse, and okay. then we can talk to the screen. And when yes. you want to come out of it, you press F5 again. F5. <laughs> it's <laughs> all these little tricks are the things, I mean, the game is now so complex, so complex, that mm. you really have to learn a lot and, you know, read the wiki and watch videos to learn all the little yes. tricks. But just a few little tricks like that, um, and your life becomes a lot easier. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's really cool. That's good to know. Yeah. So this is where we are. And the other thing I did want to show you, which we didn't look at, uh, and I think you've probably seen this from afar, it's coming dawn. The colours here are just beautiful, aren't they? Oh, yeah. but if you come uh -oh. up here, it's all right. The drifters can't get up here. Yeah. You'd like to come and stand in my window. Look, there's our witch's hat. Oh, that's yeah. That's Isn't that nice. fantastic? Yeah. What 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 is that? I saw a green glass structure when I came in. Oh. Something about a bed or something. Or, oh. or, or, <laughs> we. I, I know you're a survivalist guy, and we're very good at survival too. But um, we oh, go away. Oh. Oh, they can climb. Uh, yeah, they can probably get up this ladder. Well, they can. Oh. They can't get up the front because there's a gap. But they tend to get up the back. Oh, stop it! You stupid thing. <laughs> oh, we got a piece of flax. 
Um, I need to, I want to show you our attic. We'll go inside Salem Sam. Yes. And it's lovely having the buildings yeah, named. It really is. Oh, hello. Have you come to oh. see us as well? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There can't be many people on. It's because, and I often find this when I, when I play in the mornings. And I often find that in the mornings, oh, there aren't many people on. And I get absolutely beset by drifters. Because oh, I see. I'm the only food in town for them. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to go and get a bit of food. Is. Yeah, I need some food. So I'm just going to go and get some. Oh, oh no, it's spoiling. Well, not, oh. uh, not yet. We, we, oh, good grief. What's the matter with you guys? I'm absolutely beset. <laughs> How are they spawning in here? I thought the light level kept it, <laughs> kept it free of spawnage. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Well, it should. What they've done is they've come in and followed us down. Oh, there's another one. Oh, he's taking a bath. <laughs> taking a bath. Yeah, they are sneaky. They'll find the tiniest little dark corner. <laughs> yeah, they are, aren't they, Funky Chicken? Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, I, I've got some food. Let me munch as I go up here. And come and see our attic. Okay. Uh, it's, we've got a, it's rather a complicated route up. Oops. Oh, look at this pretty dawn. Oh, my word. Oh, yeah. oh my word. There, there's the, uh, you the can, and, and it's, could you take and a screenshot of that for me and send it to me? My screenshots don't work. They come out black. Oh, what's the screen? What's the key for the screenshot? Uh, press F12. F12. Did that take oh, a screenshot? Yeah. Yes. There yes. you go. <laughs> this yes. is this is a lesson in things that make your life easier. <laughs> Should we go up again? Okay. Yes. And we have a real attic up here. Wait, where'd you go? Up the ladder. Oh, I see. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Now look at this. This is a real attic. Oh wow! Oh wow! Look at this. I love these crates that have these uh, icons. On well, them too. there's a mod on here that you've got this mod. It's called Better Crates. Better Crates. Yeah. yeah. Now. The large rose quartz. Yeah. Do you have? I've never seen that. Do you have a temporal gear? No, I don't. That's what that was. Uh... Would you like a temporal gear? I know yes. you're a survival guy, but. <laughs> that I could use. Yeah. That you... I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, oh, uh, should I grab one from here? No, oh, here you are. Okay. Yeah. Right. Ready? Yep. Okay. And, and I could just hold my right click button right yeah hold your right click button on the floor and it but once it's set you can't re. you need another temporal gear to reset it why don't you set it down right, the right, stairs right. it'd be easy yeah 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 you I'm don't want to set it downstairs yeah and if you set it down here and down again okay and then you could set it down here yeah oh not not on the door <laughs> Look, on a floor yes. tile. <laughs> there we go, yes. Just... All right, here we go. Ah, that's, that saves me a, another huge trip. There you are. So that means that you've now got your that's spawn awesome. set here. Yes. Now just try and open one of the chests. You should be able to. Try and Yes. Open... There yes. you go. Okay. Oh, how do you open these? You press shift and left click. Oh, and then I see. If you want to and put how do I stuff... add? Oh, I see. Okay, gotcha. Yep. Okay. Oh, okay. And the reason we've got all these signs is, for example, this one was from Pyro here. Yes. And we had to take the one down. Funky Chicken gave us a load of stuff, but we had to take that one down. 
Sesku was here. He left us a sign. So where he we can, it. yeah, where we can keep the signs, we do. Ah, that's cute. Sesku. Yeah. Who's Sesku? Sesku is my absolute hero. Uh, many people on here are my hero, but he made all the roads. You know the huge road we've got that runs oh, to the yeah. south? He made that, and it was days and days and days of work. It was wow. wonderful, yeah. Now... And and I had no idea what the roads were for, and I realized you can actually run fast, walk faster, and run faster. Yes, on. yes. And if you press control, you run yeah. faster. But if you press control on a road, it's yeah. really fast. Yeah. So, yeah, so if these... you're on the road, you can outrun a wolf. Oh, oh, I I didn't know that. That's good to know, Funky Chicken. Wait a second. But if the if the wolf is also running on the road, um, I don't think they get the bonus. No, they don't. Ah, no. Okay. All right. That's good. That's good. You can normally outrun a roof wolf by playing control. Yeah. You could you could you could still outrun a wolf. Yeah. But um if you're in in hilly terrain, it's a little harder. Yeah, that's where you need the roads. Now here, yeah. my my uh colleague copy girl is sorting out what we need and what people buy so if the artisan traders buy flower pots and planters we can sell them those for rusty gears so we can oh. make them at a so she's sorting out what we can make to sell to different traders i see i know what are the chests for? pun what's the chest for that's what we're going to put the stuff in at the moment we we don't have much <laughs> no, but but why would you store it here instead of just giving it to the trader? Uh, well, because most of the traders are a long way away. Oh, so you just um, so yeah. this is to stockpile them before you go on your exactly your trader. Yeah. exactly. Oh, okay. But we're I... so far from an artisan trader, and if you look up here, um, I'm I've got a couple of bits of wall over here. And I'm desperate to get some tapestries. But you know now that the tapestries in the ruins are rotten. So the only intact tapestries you get are from the traders. Ah. So basically, I'm going to have to buy a couple of tapestries. Wait, oh. so what's wrong with that? You said the tapestries here are... are uh worn out or something yeah what well, you know you normally find tapestries in ruins in ruins yeah but what you find in ruins these days are decayed tapestries oh really Why? Ta tapestries um yeah. well because that's the way that the developers want it so oh. to get beautifully intact tapestries and i want a couple here can you see i've got a a three by three wall of yes. skulls twice and i want yep two tapestries to go on these walls so i'm going to ask my friend copy girl and you can see salem sam's hat so much better in this light yes and that huge stack what is that is that wood uh no that's my friend copy girl who has got it's the, our pile of peat peat okay yeah and it actually goes to the top of the world it won't go any higher now <laughs> and copy girl is building over here She's suspending her area here. Oh, look, we've got a rabbit. It's the first time I've seen a rabbit in this area. Wait, or a hare. Go? I'm down here. I'm down at the bottom. Oh, downstairs now? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. And I'm saying that this is where she's building over here. So that's going to be ah. a floating building. That one there with the stairs in the, in the yeah. middle of the water? Yeah, yeah. We use straw bales for scaffolding and for sort of drawing out buildings and things. It's, it's not much here yet, but whoops, it's difficult to get into it. There we go. So basically, it's just sketched out, but she has a building plan. Whereas my house, which you can see quite well from here, um, it's work in progress. I've got the roof built. Um, but that's about it. Pretty nice. I like that. Yeah. And that you're using aged wood, right? That, yeah. The aged wood is the roof. Because yeah. we, ha we had lots of it. We were gifted aged wood because people know I like it. So that's the roof. 
and then the um, the wood is K-pop, which goes beautifully with the aged wood. Um, and you can yeah. see where yeah. I've got the walls for the tapestries. And when I get a bit further down the line, I will be chiseling those to just take them in a bit to give a bit of depth to that um, particular bit of the building. But it, I, with, yeah, with the um, with the workbench mod, I guess is going to make life a, a lot easier, right? It is. It is. Yeah. You can make templates for them and then reproduce them. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's yeah, that's um, the way to go. Yeah, I know. I know some of these guys are really hardcore and they chisel each block without using. Uh -huh. that no, they don't. Wow. Ev even Arkan has a workbench now. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know if you're going to get into chiseling, but they're beautiful. Have you seen a workbench? No, I haven't they're seen. They're absolutely. I mean, some of the designs for this game are stunning. Look at this. This is our workbench here. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, it, it's got oh, a vice. Yes. It's got a saw. I mean, this Little is saw in there. Yeah, yeah. That's so cute. Isn't that great? Oh, look at this. Yes, yes. Oh man. And when you build build the workbench, this is how it comes. You you don't oh, choose it... input materials for crafting. Okay, so here yeah. you put your materials. Yeah. And then the output. Oh, yes. Uh, and what you do is you put you, you put a chiseled block in, but what you can't do is use another chisel block. You have to use the raw block. So you put your chisel block in, and then you have to have a block that's not chiseled. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Got. Yep. Yeah. And wow, you you've seen so cool. you've seen the leaded glass, of course, haven't you? Oh man. You guys have so much. <laughs> I know, yeah, this is awesome. So yeah. who are these benefactors that are, that are donating all this material? Uh, well, a lot of this we, we've got because this is just glass, lead, and acacia wood. You can do it in different yeah. woods, so it has different colored surrounds. But yeah. we're using acacia a lot as a highlight here. Um, but the people who donated to us, oh, they're nameless. Um, so many of them, right. Funky Chicken, who's talking to us, was one of our yes. donators. Uh, Pyro. What, what she really means is that Ashanton's pretty famous and she's very kind. <laughs> so everybody <laughs> wants to give her things. <laughs> I see. You're so <laughs> sweet. Everyone says I'm kind. I'm not. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> else is kind. But um, Funky Chicken left us I, the most beautiful. We, we were sorry to take it away, but it was up near the teleporter. And she left us this beautiful area full of stuff. Uh, and a beehive and all sorts of things. And then wow. um, Sescu left us masses of stuff. Pyro left us stuff. A guy called Hackenslay left us stuff. Ori, Laurie Yu heard that I was building in K-Pok and left me an entire chest of K-Pok and 50 saplings. Wow. Um, and we try and keep all the labels. If they're on a labeled chest, we try and keep it intact, which you can do if you move things. And it's just fantastic. So all, all these people give us things. And we, Aladark, who is an absolute, another chiseling star, he gave us the cauldron and he gave us the bats. Oh, wow. And Senghorn, who loves cats, gave us the black cat. Um, people give us things because they're sweethearts. That's so nice. Wow. <laughs> I know. That is awesome. And we were able to, and this is why I'm saying to you, well, can I help you? Because because people help newcomers if they want help. Some people are really hardcore and they just want to sit <laughs> down in the wilderness, do it all themselves. That tends, yes. tends to be the streamers and the YouTubers, I'll tell you that. Um, <laughs> but I'm not proud. And when people turn up and give me literally walls of cobblestone yes. skulls, the only person I did ask for some things. I you can see my. I'm looking at my house to see how it looks from here. I asked Arkham to do the legs. Now he's a master chiseler of buildings, so can uh, you imagine? Yes, yes. I said to Arkham, "Will you come on and live at Pendle? Come onto the server, live at Pendle." 
Um, yeah. And what I was asking him to do, this master chiseler who makes the most superb buildings, was to chisel me a pair of chicken legs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but Fortunately. it came out so cool. I mean, yeah. This is, this is really awesome. It's wonderful, isn't it? Uh, Absolutely wonderful. Oh, you, you know what? So when I, when I saw the whole uh, chiseling thing going on, you know, because I, I didn't realize there was chiseling until I saw a video. Yeah. And... Um, and um yeah because because i saw your video where you were going through arc and stuff yeah and i was like wow this is amazing and so i oh, looked yes. up how to chisel i'm like oh this is great and then i started getting gathering some tinted glass so that i could make some uh stained glass windows you know chisel them you know i'm thinking you know because they're they're blocks i thought i could chisel them but apparently you can't no but wouldn't it be great if you had stained glass but what i'm saying is yeah you know actually being able to put your own pattern on it sort of like a yeah you know, a church's um you know those beautiful cathedrals that you see the yeah. stained glass um, uh, designs on them. Yes, I think that would be pretty cool if you could get a. a I have that. a feeling in the long term we will. You have to remember, weirdly enough, vintage story is still under development. Yeah, yeah, I know, but I mean they've got chiseling already, right? For for solid blocks. So now yeah. if you could add a, a stained glass window uh, mod to it, yeah. I, that be beautiful? I, yeah, I'm not an expert on chiseling, so I don't know. But you know that our balcony up there is chiseled. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can see it. Yeah. I mean, I can see the, the, the detail work here that's, uh, you know, yeah. It, 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 it adds, you know what? It adds that that little bit of polish that the eyes, yeah. you know, they gravitate to, right? Well, what I'm doing is I'm building my house out of unchiseled blocks. Um, to get the basic form of the house right. Yep. And once yep. I've got the house right, then exactly. I will put the chiseling. And to go through these translocators, do you need any special item? Uh, food. Need... Let's go and get some food. And then I will no, take, I... take you through a translocator. Do you know how to mark things on the map? Yes. Right. If you come through here... Let's grab some food. Some of it's rotting, but it needs eating up. So you don't need any more gears or anything in order to travel through the translocators, right? No, you, just... you need three gears and two metal parts to mend them. But once they're mended, they just, yeah. They work. Yeah. Okay. And I have a very, very good video on how to get a translocator up and working, but more importantly, what you need to take with you to make it secure. <laughs> oh. Did you know I have a whole series of tutorials? I didn't know you had uh, that many tutorials. I thought you just had the um, the ones. Um, oh no! Uh, showing the no the no nice no build. no. If you subscribe, uh, got quite a quite a few good series. Yeah, I have a. I run. Basically, I've got four different series. I've got this one, which is Aura Fury and Pendle. I've got a single player world, um, which is map three, and I've done over 500 hours on that. Oh, wow. I've got a playlist of best builds, and I'm always looking yeah. for builds for that. Wow. And I go and see people's builds, because other people like seeing them anyway, but just occasionally something is so special it goes in the best builds. But the fourth series I've got is tutorials. And if you yeah. just go and wander through the tutorials, it's things like how to get a translator up and going that I think you would okay. enjoy a lot. And oh, also, yeah, I know you play with a member of your family. It's quite yes. fun to watch these things because it gives you lots of uh, little tips and tricks. That, so I will do that. And, it, I mean, half the stuff I've told you today, you you see this if you watch other people's videos and things like that. Yeah. Okay? Yep. So. Okay. Uh, but if you found translocators on a private world, okay, um, have you ever been through one of these? Nope. Right, what you do Never. is you just step on the plate and wait for it to go bang. All right, does it hurt? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, look at this. All right. Oh, wow. But what you've got here, if yeah. you look at your temporal gear, can you see how yeah. negative it's going? Yeah. So we mine basalt here, but it, you have to mine a bit and go back home. And then up here, this is the area which is unexplored wilderness. And you're very, you know, people are very close to us here. And it's a gorgeous area. So what you would do, obviously, is come up here and then you would mine, you would mark where the translocator is on your map. Okay. Yeah. Actually, yeah, let me... This is very point. hard to find, this translocator. It's very, very hard to find. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to mark it on my map. Yeah. And immediately you know you're in wolf country. Translocator... Science... You know, there's food here because it's basically an unexplored area and we don't right. we don't collect all the berry bushes we leave them we have no need of berry bushes <laughs> wow really you don't have berry, berry you don't collect berry bushes well we don't now hmm. that's it oh. and then you come up here you're back in our area Yes. So wow, you. That was so cool. Look at that. My first trip. Your first uh, trip on a translocator. So so that that uh, now at spawn that big portal that's not a translocator though. No, that's, that's a else. that's a teleporter. Yeah. So and is that, is that part of vintage or is that a mod? No, it's part of vintage story. You have to go into creative to have them, but there's only ever one teleporter to get to new parts of the map. And when it's populated, they take your teleporter away. So we spent a long time building roads and trying to find a way oh. back to spawn. You're cut yeah. off. So you can settle in a new area, but... Uh, so who manages that? Like, is that... Because I've never e seen a teleporter before. Econ Brony. Oh. I have a tutorial on how to set up teleporters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that, all right. <laughs> I just saying, you need to subscribe to me. I gotta watch, yes, yes. You need to subscribe <laughs> to me. And you uh, know, you know me, guys, I'm always one for self-publicity. I'm always saying, oh, please subscribe to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I definitely shall, because, I mean, I love the, the build uh, videos. And also, yeah. um, someone linked an ore bomb. Yeah, that was me. That's so, how I met you. You yes. were talking about mining quartz and how to mine yes. quartz, uh, and what and you on gameplay help. And yes. I was the one that said, "Try this, you'll love it." <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you got that's to know fun. me. Yes. So there we are. I'm going to go and have breakfast now because it's yes. it's not well, yet eight. It's not yet eight o'clock in the morning. So okay. you have full access to our area oh thank you that this one... is lovely by the way is this is this part of the game here oh yes this, this... is vanilla no you... i mean this um the little fishy and the yes uh, little yes bunnies here. yes vanilla ah, vanilla vintage vanilla story. vintage story has paintings oh. yeah i just never seen these they're gorgeous they're so cool yeah one of the developers really sarity nice. did them and they've been in since the beginning you can find them in ruins and you can buy them from traders that's really cool. I know. Well, thank you so much for this. Uh, oh, you're welcome. I'm going to log off. Let me yes. get my glass back because I... I'll put them in here. Yeah. Man, okay. you guys must, must constantly be uh, farming because I can imagine every day you come in and there's tons of rotten food. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. But we make compost out of it. <laughs> ah. Okay. All bye. Right. All I'm, right. I'm off well, now. Thank you very much. It was I appreciate a, it. It was a delight to meet you. Bye bye. Take care.